Hi, I'm Anna, a digital fantasy artist, and today I'm going to be talking about a really important topic for me and a lot of people, that is rendering. Have you looked at some people's paintings and drawings and you always think, but how did they get to this step of actually rendering, like sitting down and taking the time to render? How did they do it? How do I learn it? What is rendering? How can I find it? I have always been really confused with, with rendering. So this video is kind of the truth about rendering and a little tutorial on how to render. So let's get right into it. And I just want to say a little bit about the truth about rendering. It's that it's something that you can't teach because it's overvalued in the artist society. We always look at paintings and the thing that we want to be able to do the most is to render. And in the end, rendering is just the last 10% of a piece. And it only works if you have the better and a good base before actually going into rendering. Here I showed the sketch and the flats of the painting I'm going to render and this is the second flats that I airbrushed the light around and this is an example of the type of base I'm talking about. Before you go into rendering you need to have a good base or else it's not going to work. And that is why I feel like people just think that rendering is everything and maybe you're struggling with rendering because you're making it into a god when it's not even the most important part about your painting. The idea, the light source, the composition, they are what's supposed to be working for your rendering to work as well. Here on the video, you can see me cleaning up my brush strokes. You can see me carving out the character's face. And it's not that I have come up with the character's face right off the bat. Like I just sat down and I carved it. I already had a good base. I had good references. I had a good sketch. And everything helps you get to the rendering part. And even though I'm going to be talking a bit over my voiceover with the decisions that I make and how I render different materials, I just really want to emphasize that this is the truth about rendering. This is the rendering myth that you're just going to sit down and learn rendering and make the perfect painting. When in fact, rendering only exists after you have the fundamentals down. Your painting needs to look good without the rendering. It needs to already give the idea and the purpose it needs without you spending one second rendering it. And that is our biggest goal as artists, to already convey the idea without depending on pretty lights and glitter and visual, visual effects and everything like that. You know, focus on already having a good base or else you're just going to get frustrated. And that is why there isn't tutorials about rendering. That is why there isn't a whole video about rendering. Maybe my video is the only video about rendering. Because in fact, rendering is a myth. Rendering doesn't exist. If you do search for rendering specific materials, you will find some videos, but again, you can only learn how to render specific materials if you got a good base in it. You're going to see the different ways I render skin and how the different ways I render their clothes, his wings, the metal, the stones. And this only works because I use textures. But textures only work when you already have a good base. So learning how to have a good base is the key to having a good rendering because you can't actually teach rendering. You can't study rendering. Rendering for me is spending time cleaning what you already have. So you can study rendering if you set yourself up to make a really detailed study of a painting, for example. 
but you're only going to be able to study rendering if you can get to a part where you have a good base and you can just clean the piece out. But the overall tips that I have for you in the part of the rendering, as you can see here in the video, is to not be afraid. If you have a good sketch, you can follow your sketch lines and clean with it guiding you. So always remember to zoom in and zoom out, but look at your sketch lines and believe in yourself. That is one of the first most basic things about rendering. You need to believe that you can do it. And something else that I really like, of course, it depends a lot on your style, but blending is really important when you're rendering. And you don't need to have fancy brushes of blending. You don't need to use the smudge tool in Photoshop. I personally don't use it. You just need to be able to find the tone that works for the specific shadows. So again, as I said, having a good light source and a good sketch is essential for your rendering. Because then you can kind of turn off your brain and just clean the image. You can see in her hand, I already had a good idea of the type of light I wanted and the type of colors I wanted. So there was no reason for me to get really confused and mess up the colors or change the colors. I'm just going with what I've already got. And every single mistake and hard time I had in this painting was because I got something wrong in the base. It wasn't because I can't render, it was because I got something wrong in the base. So that's why I tell you to not think about rendering as a god. I, I want you to put rendering to the side and focus on who you are as an artist without all the pretty little rendering details. And that is the most important thing I can tell you. But basically, I do a pass over of every single element I have in the painting. You can see that right now I'm painting his wings. And I'm always thinking about the materials. Because even if you can clean up the piece in a nice way, if you're only using a brush and the same brush for everything, it's going to make your painting look really plastic. So I'm not te telling you to start rendering with a very textured brush. If you are comfortable, for example, with the round brush, you can obviously render with it as long as it has some blending factors. But you need to think about the materials that you're blending and how the light is going to work with this material. Because his clothing, needs to look different from his skin and it needs to look different from his wings or else I'm just going to have a really flat vibe to my painting and this is not my goal. If this is more to your style then it's completely fine as long as it's a choice and not an incapacity. Another important thing about rendering apart from having to believe you can do it is trying it out if you aren't sure about how to render in a specific material, at least try it out. You're going to see in this video the amount of times I struggled first with their proportions and secondly with her dress. I was really afraid of painting her dress because I wanted it to look like a metal dress, but I wasn't really sure how much texture I should add to this dress. But I did it anyways, and I feel like rendering is such a heavy topic for us artists and sometimes we get to this step and we freeze and we are paralyzed and we don't know how to proceed. And sometimes just trying it out and then thinking about something that you did wrong is already great and it's better than not doing anything at all. This is something that I faced in this painting. I was really insecure about the light. You can see that I tried to change it several times, but I finished it in the end. And this is what matters the most for me. My other tip for rendering is that 
you shouldn't really care as much as with the layers and this is when I really go into it and you can see that I have only one layer of course it's not ideal especially if you are a beginner because you need to have this plan B if you feel like you're lacking something you can go back and repaint the layer but don't be afraid of merging your layers when you're rendering because you are already supposed to have a good base and you won't really need to change a lot of things and if you do need to change something you can always do use the liquify and that is good enough but you can see me here i really pay attention to how the eyebrows will feel because eyebrows aren't skin eyebrows are hairs and i'm really thinking about the edges i'm thinking about the materials i'm thinking about soft lips i'm thinking about the light and it's important as well if you feel insecure to make double rendering stages make one stage where you render the whole painting with the only thinking about the light and then making make a second rendering stage where you render the whole painting again thinking about textures so you can have more fun adding textures without having to worry so much about the light you can see me here i'm adding lots of little hairs i'm having fun with the fact that the light is going in her hair and as i said i didn't really separate them from the background and while that does make a messier painting style, I had fun with it. Even when things don't go exactly as you planned in your rendering stage, I still urge you to try to finish it because it teaches you and your brain how to deal with problems in the painting. So again, I could have fixed that if I had a better base and it's ideal to already go to your rendering process having a good base but if you do face a mistake and it's something that you feel challenged don't shy away from it just do your best here i'm painting metal and as i said i did struggle a bit with her clothing but i do think i made a good enough job i already know what i could have made better but that is the spirit of rendering. If you aren't sure, get a bunch of references and try to make the material look as much as it would look in real life as possible. And if you're still having difficulties, remember to study more. I have made a video about how I study art and how it helps me to paint from my imagination and have my own ideas. I'm going to leave it here if you want to check it out. And it's really important, again, before you focus on rendering and the special effects and the finishing touches, for you to be comfortable with the base and how you get to an idea before making anything else. And if you aren't really sure about how to get to a stage where you can render, I have made a video about my complete painting process as well, and I explain it step by step at how I got to the stage. Here in this video, I've shown only my rendering process, and as I said, I separated it in first rendering it as the light, and then focusing on textures but i didn't film how i sketched it out how i planned the piece so if you are in doubt at how to get to a step where you should start rendering you should watch this video that is going to help you but again here it's really important for you to think about the textures and i did blend a lot in this painting and for example, here I'm adding the rocks, the stones of his clothes. And I have studied stones before, so I know how to render them. So if you are in doubt with any type of material and how to make bring it more to life, you should go back to studying it specifically. But in general, rendering, the only bad thing I would say about it is that it takes so long 
I did think I rushed a bit this piece and I could have spent more time in it detailing his outfit, but I had such a hard time with the light in this piece that I honestly just winged the rest of it. And I feel like this is really important for me to say as well. It's not because I know how to render materials and I have a certain confidence already built up in my art that I don't make mistakes, that I don't choose the wrong light source. Here I messed up the light and the colors were too bright, but in the end the important thing is that I did do my best and I feel like he does look handsome and she looks pretty. If you liked my painting, please comment down below, it would really help me. But yeah, I feel like the important thing is to show up and try to render it, that you're going to get better and better. But this is the only thing I would say about rendering, is that it takes so long. And it's kind of frustrating because you kind of start already getting tired of your painting like i don't want to say that i got tired here i'm already adding special effects because i felt like i needed some sort of fire between them you know but i i always get kind of tired and you just need to push through you just need to push through but that's basically it for the video and i just wanted to say that I just needed this video when I was a younger artist and I'm happy I was able to make it for you guys. And if you want any more in-depth rendering tutorial, please comment down below that I can make a video only about a certain thing, for example, rendering hair. I'm going to make a skin rendering tutorial because you guys have been requesting it, so please subscribe and leave a like so I can keep making videos. This was the final painting i really hope you guys liked it and yeah but the most important takeaway from this video is that rendering is just cleaning up the piece you should already have a good base before it but that's basically it if you have any questions please comment down below remembering that my commissions are open and this would be around a 200 dollar commission and thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful and that inspires you to keep going. Bye, see you in the next one.